we've got, uh, got the onion going in there. Just going to brown that a little bit. Going to chuck the longestines in. These are, they were live. And going to put them in and just let them steam as you would for mussels or any, any kind of shellfish, really, until they're cooked. And while they're steaming, I'm going to chuck the sherry in in a minute, just wait for the pan to get a little bit hotter. And while they're steaming, we're going to do the pan catalan. Now, pan catalan um, is, a, is a love. It, traditionally, it's not going to use up uh, an old stale loaf. So I've got some, uh, some lovely country bread, OK? Um, nice and hot, nice and char grilled, because you want that, um, that taste to it. A little bit of garlic, the best way to do it, whole head, lop it in half, and then you're not messing around with silly little bits of garlic. Rub it all over, like that. Okay, that's your garlic, and that smells amazing. Okay, so nice, nice ripe tomato. Um, squeeze out some of that excess juice, and just rub, rub the bread. It's got to be. It's got to be quite crispy, otherwise it's all going to turn to mush. Rub the bread in the tomato. Right, back to the longest things. Got the sherry here. Got a nice sweet Oloroso sherry. It's kind of a, it's medium, medium sweet. It's got an amazing taste. All right, these boys are ready to go. In with the sherry. Lid on. Give them a shake. Get them going. Let's see, we'll come back to those in a minute. Okay, so the, for the rest of this, <coughs> with the rest of the tomato, pick out the seeds. And that's the easiest way to do it. Just give it a dice and then put it over the rest of the toast, really. And that's, that's pretty much it. And it was, it's one of those dishes, I think, was traditionally... I mean, I might be wrong. Guys, do you know this one? Yeah, absolutely. Might I mean, be used... Uh, you know, all over Catalonia, people eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Instead of serving you sort of... Yeah. Go to a restaurant, they're serving you bread. They'll, they'll serve you, just, you, you know, pan con tomate. Just and, delicious. And OK, so a little bit of oil. Good oil. A little bit of sea salt. Maybe a little bit of pepper. Um, that's it, that's the pan catalan. Right, OK, I can hear the longest things sizzling. All that sherry's reduced, and that's all fallen down into those onions, so that's, that's going to be absolutely delicious. So what that needs now is a um, good bit of flat-leaf parsley, which I use loads of, because it just tastes, tastes so much better, I think. Right, nice amount of parsley. I mean, that smells and looks amazing. I'm really happy with that. Right.